Are, are, are people reading too much into these little injuries that keep, keep flaring up? No, uh, with Marcus, I don't really know. I can't say. I hope, but um, most unlikely that he will be fit, but I, I hope so. It's, as you said, it's just an hour or so since the game is finished, so we haven't really uh, got to the uh, bottom of it. But with uh, with Edinson, he's, he's worked really hard and he's, um, he's joined in training sessions. And when he, towards the end of the session, he really needs to top it up and feel 100% ready for the game and he hasn't really got there yet. So we um, it's down to him he wants to be 100% when he uh, when he joins in uh, he's, he doesn't want to feel come in uh, and look uh, off the pace so hopefully he can be ready for uh, for Sunday but I'm not sure uh, either because uh, after the training yesterday he he felt something that he couldn't uh, he couldn't uh, travel with us Carlson Yes, bortsett med, bortsett med to spørsmål i dag, det er koselig. Yeah. <laughs> you, you spoke in earlier about the importance of winning the first trophy, and now you have the chance both in the EuroLeague and in the FA Cup to do so. Uh, just how much difference do you think it can make for you going into the next season with, with a trophy in your bag? I said, I said, spoke about it a few days ago about trophies. It can sometimes it can hide the fact what you're doing uh, in the background, but for me. I feel we are improving all the time and we're getting closer. And I think to win a trophy could be a boost for everyone. Yes, it would be. Uh, I had we've we've had this before, you know, when we won the uh, Worthington Cup or Carlin Cup in the 2006 season. I think it was with Nemanja Vidic and Patrice Evra first the first wins, and it was the first of many. And we feel or we hope that a trophy can can be a catalyst of uh, more to come. Ali, um, the last two games you've gone to the Etihad, you've gone to the San Siro and you've won at both and you've conceded no goals. How much confidence does that give you going into the Leicester game at Leicester? And how much belief are you seeing in the players now game on game? You know, the, the belief and the attitude is there. And I have to say I'm really impressed by the, um, by the way they recover and get ready for the next game because it is relentless we are they are preparing uh, uh, to perform at the highest highest level it's not like we've we've had any uh, any gimmies in the draws every game has been a been a game that you really have to um, to dig deep to win and this is another one Leicester away we've uh, of course we drew in the league against them and uh, we know we have to defend well against them. We, um, you know, you got Vardy and Ian Acho now with, uh, with with the form they're showing, goal scoring form, and you've got other quality players there that the, the passes of Tielemans and the the, the runs of Perez. Uh, so we know we've um, we've got a game in our on our hands. Hi, Oli. Um, we saw Paul's quality tonight when he came on, and you said post match how important he'll be for the rest of the season. With that in mind, how important is it for you to get him tied down to a new deal? Because obviously he's got one year left uh, on his contract. And how confident are you that you can do that? I think everyone in the team, uh, and Paul included, we just focused on doing as well as we can this season. It is, uh, I don't think any, uh, any energy would be used on... Uh, the speculation. Of course, we've got uh, discussions and uh, and talks. And then when you see Paul playing like tonight, when uh, when you see him come back training, that shows how uh, how much he he cares for us and how much he enjoys playing and how much we um, we can benefit from having him here. Samuel Lucas. Samuel. Early. Just on Paul as well. Do you think he will be fit enough to play? Can you hear me? Sorry. Yeah. yeah, I can. Yeah, we can hear you. Right. Sorry about that. Um, just yeah, on Paul, do you think he'll be fit enough to play on Sunday? And also, just looking at how Victor Lindelof's been playing recently with Harry Maguire, um, it seems like they've they've really gelled recently and become a, a much more solid uh, defensive partnership. We uh, will have to see how much Paul can play. I don't think he can last 90 minutes. I'm not sure if he can start, but... Um, you can see the impact he can make if he comes on as a sub. Uh, if he feels okay, maybe we can start him as well. Uh, 
we have to see the who the runners and the riders are after tonight, of course, because it's been a long travel. We'll be late uh, back, so um, we'll see. I hope he's ready to start. Victor and Harry, I thought they played really well last season as well. We had so many clean sheets last season. Victor and Harry uh, have got a good understanding with each other, and they've uh, they've. Uh, really built on last season. Then again, uh, we've got other centre-backs here as well who come on and, and play well when they get the chance. Hi, Whitwell. Hi, Lee. And Mason didn't score tonight um, and he hasn't scored too many goals this season, but he's but, overall... Yeah, I knew that, but they were going to come because <laughs> we actually discussed it after. I'm, I probably think that your question is going to be how well he plays because he does really mature and his performances are top class. Well, that, I mean, yeah, specifically though, in what what's he doing? Because it, I mean, looking at from the outside, he seems to be holding the ball up pretty well, running the channels. But but you tell me what you know. You're, yeah. you're a striker. Definitely, his uh, his hold up play, link up play, has improved so much. His physical strength has improved so much. His awareness has always been there, but he's getting the confidence. You know, this season has been a big step forward for him. Now. He the next step for him is to stop thinking about finishing because he doesn't have to think about it. He, he, that's just instinct. Just do it. Just trust yourself. All the other bits are there. So um, and that's what I tell him, and he'll be um, he'll be fine. He'll he'll uh, really kick on soon. The last two questions for Paul Hurst and then Simon Stone. Can I go first, Paul? Hi, Oli. Um, I just noticed earlier that Anthony Marshall was in the the France squad, and obviously he's not travelled with you. Uh, tonight is that a concern for you that he could go there and pick up an injury? Is, is he kind of would he be fit for that or not concerned at all? I just want Anthony fit and uh, same with Paul. We just want them to go and play. We just want them because they've missed too many games. Uh, this was a hip injury he got against AC Milan a week ago. Anthony, we hoped he was going to be ready for uh, for um, don't even remember who we played West Ham. And we, then uh, he couldn't make that one. Then he was close to get fit to this one. He couldn't make it. Hopefully he'll make uh, make Sunday. I'm not sure because it's not reacted how we hoped. So, um, but he's working really hard to get uh, you know the treatment and in the pool and all the bike work and everything to get ready. And that's the pleasing thing that he's he's desperate to to come back. And I think it'll just benefit him if he if he's fit enough to go with France and play. Last question, Samson. Hi Oli, well done. Um, just in terms of the defence, how how much confidence do you have in in the defenders that you've got? Because you don't concede a lot of goals. You're on a good run at the moment. Then periodically you get linked with all these defenders, and it's United need to bring in another defender. How much confidence in have you, have you got in the guys that you you have? Sky high. Uh, how many? Uh, it, we're used to uh, speculation, and uh, every goal you concede at Man United is going to be scrutinised, and that's just the way it is. And you know, I know that these boys have become so much stronger mentally to deal with these um, these things, and we work on things. You know, when when you have a setback like we had against Milan in the last minute, we had a big. Uh, not row, but we had a little bit bit of a meeting and you saw against West Ham and you saw tonight there was no chance we were going to let any goals in. So uh, they're proud defenders and that's, uh, even though they can play football, you know, they can play out from the back and all this, but you know, when you, you see defenders wanting to defend, you're pleased with. And um, of course, Slatan had a good chance, but that's just, he's a physical, physical monster. So um, you can't def protect yourself against everything in football, but they're trying as well as they can. Thanks, everyone.